What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm going to be telling you why you should never play as Red in Among Us. So in Among Us I'm sure that you are aware about the supreme imposter known as Red. Who is by far one of the most scariest imposters in all of Among Us. Well today I did something that many of you wouldn't dare. Which is to pretend to be Red. And during this time Red actually showed up. Which instantly made me regret my decision. And you won't believe what happened next so you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button. Which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So why not solve that issue? by hitting the subscribe button with the bell icon turned on and dropping a like on this video if you do enjoy. But now let's begin with today's story video. So while I was playing Among Us, I got myself into a strange situation. I was just joining random lobbies to find people to play with. And I managed to get into a lobby that was almost full. And I really like playing in bigger lobbies. I spawned inside of the brig, and I walked past Blue. But when I got deeper into the engine room, he just randomly teleported, and he began to follow me. It hasn't even been a minute into the game, and I was already facing some problems. Luckily, since I was in showers, I managed to do a task. And when I returned back to the main hall, I began to hear the sounds of some sort of creature. I didn't see anything in the main hall, so I went into electrical, and I couldn't see anything. That was strange. So I went back inside of the main hall to go do my task. And as I was making my way over to the pit, the lights turned off. I was afraid of being the first crewmate to go down, so I continued to move forward. Until eventually I made it towards my task. And while I was in the pit, the ship randomly got hit. Wait, what? What happened? I went to go look out the window, and I didn't see anything. I wonder what could have been so large that caused the entire map to move like that. Something is out there, but what could it be? Lime's body was then reported, and this gave me the opportunity to tell the crewmates what just happened. So I typed in the chat, I just want to say something hit the ship, and that blue followed me in the beginning and I didn't know what to do. Cause that was strange. I ended up voting for blue but the other crewmates didn't agree with me and nobody was ejected. I spawned inside of the brig and I was unable to move. What is happening to my game? But then I clicked my settings and it fixed everything. That was weird. I then made my way over to the meeting room to do a task and crash course was called. So I kept typing in the code and it wasn't fixing it. What is happening? I kept doing this over and over, and we were almost running out of time. Why is Orange right behind me? Why isn't he doing anything? This entire game just seemed to be against me. It all started ever since I heard that noise in electrical. Eventually, we ended up fixing the sabotage after trying to fix it for the past minute. My heart was still beating after all of that. I then began to look around the entire map for any bodies. Some crewmates had to have been eliminated during that entire process. But then Orange called the meeting. Orange then started to blame me over the sabotage and was asking me why I wasn't fixing it. I told him that I was. I kept doing it and that nobody was on the right side. Nobody was helping. Orange then said that he did the left side even though he didn't. This player is clearly lying. But none of that went in my favor. I was ejected. The imposter ended up eliminating the last crewmate, and he won the game. It was now the next game, and I spawned inside records with several other crewmates. I went into the main hall to take out the trash. I was instantly taken out by Orange, and I'm surprised that the crewmates nearby didn't notice my body. Today was clearly not the day to play Among Us, because for the next few games, I was always the first crewmate to go down. Why am I being targeted? It's almost as if the crewmates know something about me that I don't. The imposters would eventually get caught, just like Orange and Lime, when they took me out. It just doesn't make any sense why they just throw the game, and don't even bother winning. They just want to eliminate me. I need to get to the bottom of this quick, and also figure out who that creature was that was in the airship map. I then joined another lobby, because I was tired of everything that was happening. I was just constantly facing a lot of problems. I was a crewmate and I spawned inside records, and I was alone. That is strange. Usually I have one or two people that spawn with me, so people are avoiding me again. 
But I wasn't gonna let that stop me from doing my task. I guess people just don't want to be near me, and that's okay. I then went into the kitchen and I did a burger, and as I was about to leave, the lights turned off. Nobody was near me at the moment, so I went to go turn on the lights. And as I was about to, the shit began to shake, and I saw a creature. I couldn't tell who it was, because the lights were off. But then the lights to the airship have turned on, thanks to the help of some crewmates. But the creature was no longer there. I was really scared so I went to the other side of the map because I wanted to be close to a few crewmates after what I just witnessed. But then Orange's body was reported and then the imposter left for no reason. He didn't even want to confess. I ended up leaving that lobby and I joined another one. And this was when things became a lot more strange. I spawned inside of records and I made my way over to the main hall. But as I was making my way out I heard a noise coming from the dark room in the main hall. So I went inside, and I saw the creature again. So I quickly made my way outside the hallway to see who it was. And it was just pink. That couldn't have been a crewmate. It was some sort of creature. But who was it? I left the main hall and I went over to the viewing deck to look for the creature. Since this was one of the locations that I last saw him. I didn't see anything so I returned back to the dark room. And when I walked inside I didn't see anything. He was gone. I then left the main hall and I entered records. And the lights turned off. And I heard the creature again. And he ran right past me. Luckily the lights turned back on. So I was safe for now. But then I made my way over to Vitals to see how many crewmates were alive. And two of them were down. I bumped into green and electrical. He could have took me out. And then I saw Blue's body and engine. So I had to be pink. In the chat me and pink went back and forth. And luckily I gained green's trust. And we voted out pink. But I was wrong. I let the crewmates down. And this was my only chance to have a good game. And I blew it. I left the lobby in disappointment. I then joined a match of free play. To think about my actions. And when I spawned in I looked different. I turned into red. What is going on? What happened to my player? Was that creature that we saw earlier red? And could that be why the crewmates were against me? I need to look for red. I don't know why I turned into him. So I began to look around. And I eventually made my way over to the launch pad. Which is one of the locations that you can summon him. I then stood above the vent. And I waited for a few minutes. Red then appeared on my screen. And was looking at me. But then faded away. I need to get out of this lobby. He clearly doesn't want to talk. I left the lobby and I appeared inside Scaled. I thought I left the game. So I began to look around again. I know Red is hiding in here somewhere, but where could he be? And for some reason I still look like Red. I then eventually made it over to storage and I froze. What is happening? And I heard the sounds of a creature. It had to be Red. Red then appeared on my screen and took my player. Where is he taking me? If you would like to know what happened next, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Lazy Doggo for helping reproduce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.